There's something so barbaric about watching people fight in a small enclosed little area. I love it. Wait, what if it's not a dude who's playing super loud music? What if it's a lady? It's a lady! It's already up in the cloud. What cloud? <laughs> what cloud? <laughs> oh. I am to you just an old trainer. No, we're more than that. You guys are more we're not than a real that. Family. He is out of it, isn't he? Come on, come on, get up, get up, get up! Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are reacting slash commentating Creed. I recently saw a trailer for I think like a sequel. It might have been like the third one or the second one. It was, I think it was the third one. Um, I saw a trailer for it um, in theaters the other day. The other day it could have been like a month ago. I really have no sense of time. It's fine, it's fine. Anyway, so I saw a trailer for one of the sequels and I thought to myself, no, but wait, this looks enticing. This looks, this looks appealing to me. I mean, what's not to love about hot people like punching other hot people i mean <laughs> sign me up i'm on board fighting and the super hot guy from like black panthers in it okay so it's like literally 11 o'clock at night but um i i had a hankering for this like i just came back from working out um with my friend we went climbing um and i had like chalk on my hands and then i was thinking do you know what i really want to do do you know what i really want I'm, like a little hankering for a little craving for i'm gonna watch a sports movie so i asked you guys on stream if you guys would be interested in me recording that and you said you were and i had a craving so everything everything just lined up for us this evening um so that we can watch Creed together I'm really excited. Let's get into this. It's been like such a hot second since I've seen a sports movie. So and they're like a little guilty pleasure of mine. So like I'm talking Southpaw, um, Cinderella Man. Like I love a good little like sports movie, you know, like I'm hoping like, okay, the only sports movie I didn't like with like an underdog kind of situation probably had been like Million Dollar Baby. That shit was depressing as fuck. I'm hopeful, like hopefully this isn't that. Hopefully this is like better. Condition, you know what? Copy that on the ground. This looks serious. Wait, is this Juvie? Oh, he's just wailing on him. I'm rooting for that kid. I'm rooting for him already. This is, this is gonna be such a good day. I love an underdog situation, I really do. He's a good kid. He just fights all the time. Adonis. Isn't Adonis the name of like a Greek god or just like a really beautiful Greek sculpted buff guy that's greek i'd like you to meet mrs wait is that not his mom wait wait i have questions here i have questions i'm not going to another group home i'm not from a group home you're a social worker i am not a social worker <laughs> she seems almost offended <laughs> i love it i'm sorry about your mother i know what it's like to lose someone when your father died i was angry for so long they're related somehow? He passed before you were born, but you had a father. You know? He was my husband. I would like it very much if you would come and stay with me. What was his name? Ooh. I love a little bit of family messiness in my movies. This is good. This is good. And she seems like such a lovely lady despite the family messiness. This is going to be a good time. This is going to be a good time, y'all. Oh, is he older now? Is that him? Yes. No, that has to be him. He's preparing for a fight. He's like going to do a real fight now. And that's not in juvie. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think this might be like a lower fight based on the rooms they're in that look like they're rotting away and falling apart. Slightly more of an amateur fight. I don't know, these guys don't look amateur though. You know what I mean? Like they look pretty, pretty built, but. Yeah, maybe this movie is about like his rise. Is this basically a true story at all? There's something so barbaric about watching people fight in a small enclosed little area. I love it. I really do. I get so much joy. I derive so much happiness from this sort of thing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this must be his day job. Oh, what a cool contrast. Going from like the dark kind of like underground looking fight, the not so well lit area, and then the stark white contrast of pristine office building. What is what a solid cut, you know? Abrupt in a good way. You get a promotion and you're quitting? This career just ain't for me. I don't really like Matt Cars. They look like they sound uncomfortable if I scratch them with my fingernail and I don't fuck with that. Another right and another right. 
This is such intense music. <laughs> I'm about to ask, perhaps, a very silly little question. Are the Creed movies related to uh, the Rocky the, yeah, no, movies? Because I haven't seen those. Do Hopefully I don't need those um, for context for this movie. Kill or be killed, people die in there. Your daddy died in the ring. Oh, that's how her dad died? Nah. I ain't training you. You know I ain't training. Ain't nobody training you. I'm gonna make sure about that. I'm not quite sure whether or not I like this coach. We're not dancing. We're not singing. We fighting. It doesn't strike me as particularly encouraging. The fostering of talent. These are the keys to my staying right here. All you gotta do is land one clean headshot. You gonna get the shit knocked out of you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. No head gear. Mm -hmm. Seems risky. You pick who's next. I'm next. Oh, the slow motion tells me that he's a threat. Oh, oh no. I see you got your head your own. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I guess this opponent warrants headgear. Wait, is the Mustang still on the line for this particular little skirmish here? Ooh. This isn't looking good. Was our protagonist perhaps a little too cocky? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, damn it. Wait, did he lose the Mustang? Is he gonna have to tell his stepmom he lost the Mustang and he quit his job in the same conversation? He has a black eye, is that why he's wearing shades? Yeah. Oh, she saw right through him. You know how many times I had to carry your father up these stairs because he couldn't walk? Yes. How many times I had to wipe his ass because he couldn't use his hands? You want brain damage. Yeah, you do. You want to be so brain damaged you can't form a sentence. I can get hurt doing She's real though. You are your father's son and you're part of him. But it doesn't mean you have to be him. She's saying, doesn't mean you have to end up like him. I'm gonna call you. You want to be in somebody's ring? You don't have to call me. That was cold, but I, I understand why she's feeling so hurt. I understand her perspective here. She's scared. She doesn't want the same thing to happen to him. For all intents and purposes, that's her son now, right? Her son's son, not just her stepson. It really seems like she's raised him for these past 20 years or whatever. Yeah, I'm starting to get the feeling maybe I should have watched uh, the Rocky movies <laughs> before, before this. I, I didn't know they were like connected, but I, I'm getting the feeling that they are. <laughs> Oopies. How's oh, that his dad? How Wait. you doing? Yeah, I want to talk to you about training me. Training me. <laughs> I don't do that stuff no more. I got a lot of So when up. Mickey died, he came and talked to you, right? Talked you out of quitting? How do you know all this? How do you think? <laughs> he looks at the picture and looks back at him. He's my father. I don't believe it. Call Marianne. You haven't talked to her since the funeral. She said you gave a nice speech though. Damn, called out. A little bit of guilt, a little bit of guilt tripping. Maybe he'll train us, maybe he'll train us. I get the impression he must've been very good. Why would you want to pick a fighter's life when you don't have to? I think he'd rather be here talking with you. I'll be at Mickey's gym tomorrow. If I don't go there, I haven't been there in a long time. He's gonna show up tomorrow, isn't he? Wait, so did this guy like kill our protagonist's dad in the ring or did someone else kill our protagonist's dad in the ring? I'm like, no, I'm not quite putting those pieces together. Fighters' origins can endure as the most sacred element of their identity. Shaping choices. It's funny that this is HBO Sports and I'm watching this on HBO. Here, he'll welcome an opponent who's oh, also wait. never been beaten. Is that the guy who beat us up? I've never lost. I've never even been knocked down. I so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume we're gonna fight both of those people at some point, right? In this movie, I'm excited. <laughs> Wait, what if it's not a dude who's playing super loud music? What if it's a lady? I mean, ladies can be dudes too. Oh, look how good he looks when he's just knocking on the door. His muscles are rippling through his shoulders and triceps. Okay. It's a lady! I can hear your music. Um, turn my music down. You won't hear beats. Hey. Is she gonna crank it up louder or something? <laughs> Leo Spurino, the lion. I love that it gives us the stats of the fighters. I actually really enjoy that. Oh, she's a performer. Oh, I think he has a crush. A love interest, you say? Consider me interested. Oh, her hair is everything. The twists, oh, beautiful. And the bisexual lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We stay winning. Yeah, he's smitten. Conlon punched Wheeler after words were exchanged during the face-off. Wheeler suffered a broken jaw. So they need someone else for the fight then, if his jaw is broken, right? It should be us. It could be us. Just saying. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Calls him unk. You call me unk? <laughs> yeah, I mostly just train myself. I didn't know you are a creep. I go by that. I'm trying to make it on my own. He says, I don't want no part in nepotism. You know, maybe you could just you know, give him some drills. You don't stop, do you? Like a woodpecker. Just five rounds jumping rope. He's warming Three up to us. Rounds. Wait, don't you want this? I got it right here. What if you lose that there? It breaks. It's already up in the cloud. What cloud? <laughs> what cloud? <laughs> oh. Got an apartment. It ain't much, but I can try to make it into something. I guess he has no overhead lighting in that apartment, but he has a lamp. I'm, I'm not quite sure why he's existing in the dark. Hey, turn on that lamp. That's right in front of you, my guy. Come on, come on. You can reach on over there. Turn it on. I mean, look at him. He can't be bad at turning things on. Hey, you want to take a break? Maybe get some food? Is this how y'all ask females out in LA? You know what? That's all good. It's okay. Oh, he got all awkward and shy. Only have an hour. Do you know where you want to go? Call me paranoid, but I would actually be so, like, <laughs> so uncomfortable <laughs> with uh, someone coming up to my, like, door in my apartment building and, like, asking me if I'm hungry and want to go eat. A am I paranoid? I think that would be a little weird. I'd, I'd find that a little strange. Even if they were pretty like this, I'd feel a little disconcerted by that. I'm uh, opening an electric factory next month. What's that? It's a big venue out here. A lot of people got their start. So it's a big opportunity. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I got progressive hearing loss. No. I didn't even notice those. That is the most devastating thing for a musician. I'm just getting ready for it. Like, um, getting used to these. I'm learning sign language and stuff. That's awful. The, the bull, the horns. This is bullshit. Yeah. I'm just curious. Like, what made you want to fight? My pop was a fighter. Does he train you? My pop died before I was born. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh no, they're bonding. The love interests are bonding. <laughs> what made you want to sing? It makes me feel alive. Actually, I think that's why he fights. They actually have so much in common. Oh gee, might as well get get married. <laughs> Go ahead and kiss. When's your next show? Don't want to show up, you know? Show some love. Mm -mm -mm. He's doing everything right. He fed her. He's showing an interest in what she loves. Like. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 right here. Happy birthday, my friend. Miss you, pal. Getting harder to walk up the hill. What does that mean? <laughs> You're getting older, buddy. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He, he saw that look right there. He's like, ah, oh, god damn it. I might have to train this kid. <laughs> How long has it been no, 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 since sure. he's been in the gym? But my son Leo. Options still open if you want to get involved. Hey, oh, you talking to you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, you know Hollywood. Uh, we met at the restaurant. That's it. No more to it. That's all. <laughs> no other affiliation. <laughs> you gotta work hard. I swear to God, if you're not gonna do it, I'm out. Like every punch I ever thrown has been on my own. Nobody showed me how to do this. I think he's gonna thrive under supervision and, you know, guidance. This is old school. You should be able to grab one of these birds. I've Very never, soft. never considered that to be a method of training. <laughs> Chicken grabbing. I thought you were fast. <laughs> <laughs> he's just reading the newspaper. Why is he always in the dark? Turn on the lamp, man. I can't function in a house that dark. I have to have my lamps. I'm sorry. I actually love training montages. No, no, no. You can't deny me that. You can't. You can't disagree with me. It disagree with me about it. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a good training montage. I really am. Just go get the chicken. It's not that big a deal. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh my god. He's having too much fun with this, huh? You see this guy here staring back at you? That's your toughest opponent. Now every time he punches this guy, what's he doing? He's throwing one back at him. That's right. So either you block it, slip it, or get out of the way. I'm gonna leave you two alone for a while. <laughs> I feel like training for this sort of thing requires a lot of diligence because I don't think I'd have the attention span to fight 
myself in the mirror, like punching at myself, but like not punching the mirror, but like just looking at myself in the mirror and pretending to fight someone who is myself. I don't think that is really, for me, I don't think I'm really cut out for that sort of thing, <laughs> you know? That being said, um, 40 minutes into the movie, um, I want to sign up for a boxing class. So I'd consider this successful propaganda. I really want to go sign up for one, like tomorrow. So this is the house. Her place seems so much more warm and homey and well lit for that to? matter <laughs> than his. Hey, uh, 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 these cake, cake that you make, cake that you got. Oh, you bars, mad bars. <laughs> I feel like this is music you'd either get really high to, or you'd bone someone to. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 okay, all right. They're soul staring right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. I love them. They're my favorite. Oh, that guy's probably jealous that Rocky's not trading his son, huh? Here's my prediction. This guy is like so jealous he's gonna at some point find out that this the, the, the nepotism baby thing sort of and he's gonna leak he's gonna leak the nepotism baby thing because like i mean it's is, is he really a nepotism baby if he's not currently benefiting well, actually he is because rocky's training him anyway this guy's gonna find out about who this is yeah he's gonna tell other people maybe the media who this is is it really gonna have a negative impact i don't really know probably not but like that's my prediction. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Hey Hollywood, what you weigh right now? Why? He wants to have him fight his son. Get down to a buck seventy-five. We'll make something happen. We'll be okay. Thanks. Think about it. We're training to win, not get killed. Okay, you're not ready. Yet. I lose five pounds. I lose five pounds like that. It's nothing. It's easy. He can lose the weight, but is he ready for the fight? He may not be. Let me make you a offer that you can't refuse. <laughs> the cheek impression. <laughs> I go 24-7 with this shit. We go get my stuff right now. Uh, no one's been in my house in a long time. I don't think you'd be comfortable there. Don't you walk around naked? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's very persistent, huh? He knows exactly what he wants. I love this old guy just goes along with it, too. He's like, uh, fine. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you moving? He's gonna be staying with me when we ain't training. You're welcome to come on over. That's such a sweet oh, gesture you. that he extended. Oh, wait, that's so sweet that he invited her over. <laughs> Adorable. You like her? Women weak in legs, you know what I mean? My legs work just fine. Women weak in legs. That's your boy? Yeah, it's my kid, Robert. Did Robert die? You still live around here? No, he moved to a place called oh. Vancouver with his girlfriend. Oh. oh, thank God he's not dead. I was worried the kid was dead. Oh, he's a bed frame now. Oh, maybe not. His bed no longer seems like it's on the floor. Oh, he is jazzed. He is jazzed <laughs> with the hat and the music. And 5.45 a.m. You know, I think I went to bed at 5.45 a.m. last night, this morning. Well, I'll drive and you try to keep up. Well, how close is it? It's close enough. Is it like 10 miles away or something? Let me warm up real quick. He said, nope. <laughs> he really said, nope, no warming up. This is your warm up. That doesn't look super fast, but I, that's probably like a really quick pace still. It's probably like, still like a six or seven minute mile pace still. How's it jump skill? You want to be a funny fighter? This is the place to go. You ain't ready yet. You ain't ready yet. This is my gym. Fuck this gym. Some adrenaline pumping here. As long as you're talking, you're not listening. Go we'll apologize. There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So far, he seems really receptive to criticism. Like he's he's learning a lot. A lot's being thrown at him. Like literally, a lot of new information and a lot of new training. And he just seems to be taking it like a champ. And I, I like I really appreciate that. I think that's really difficult to do. Um, to be motivated and driven and also have i think the humility and to be receptive to criticism like that i think that's a really rare combination i think it actually makes for a really powerful one too so far he just seems to be doing really well i hope it sticks uh, one punch at a time one round at a time one step at a time one... see already seems like he's improving he looks faster <laughs> he's doing it too he's doing the thing too rocky i love it <laughs> They're laughing together. They've bonded. Oh my god, my little heart is gonna explode. Happiness. I made calls to LA. Kid's name is Adonis. Kid is Creed's blood. 
Do me a favor. Can we keep this between ourselves? I don't think he's gonna. Secret safe on Lee Rock. Why do I doubt that? No, because <laughs> why do I not believe that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair on Coach Dude um, with the son, that's kind of a big ask because I feel like in this sort of sport, having like your name attached to a legacy of any kind is probably like a big deal. Like that's what will would pull in money or sponsors or opportunities. Like you want to build a name for yourself that's like great. Um, in theory, but in actuality, I feel like coming from something that has already been built and continuing to build on that, this guy's like not gonna keep his mouth shut because in terms of like media headlines or whatever, like um, having his son fight someone with like Creed's blood or whatever, like um, would pull in a lot more viewers or people paying for tickets or money or whatever. And I've gotten the impression that he, he wanted to make a few extra bucks. So, um, yeah, I definitely do not think uh, he's going to keep his mouth shut on this one. Keep going. That was good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. I actually want to take a moment to appreciate something. Now, I, as you guys know, I am all about a good sex scene, right? But do you know what I liked about this movie so far? I mean, maybe we will get a sex scene sometime in the next you know, hour or whatever, but like, it really does seem like these two are in a relationship. And I love that the filmmakers or producers or whatever um, elected to still show a scene of these two having intimacy with one another without, without necessarily having them like have sex. Like that's not something I see a whole lot of in these types of movies or just like in movies in general these days, but like the scene where they're like laying down and like staring into each other's eyes and then I, and then they kiss like oh, well it was like electrifying first of all and it was just so so cute <laughs> second of all but i think it was just a really nice way of showing how their relationship is progressing and kind of where it is now without having to have actors take their clothes off i think it got the job done in just a really tasteful beautiful sort of way it was because it was a beautiful little moment now that being said if they wanted to take more of their clothes off would i be one to to object perhaps not i mean maybe we'll find out maybe we won't let's let's see let's see <laughs> my gloves just cut them off i can't cut them off i'm ready to go fight i too tight i'm freaking out okay i'm freaking out right now i gotta take a shit <laughs> a case of the mind. nervous shits we've all been there let's <laughs> go make it happen mm -hmm. why don't you make it happen let's do it, do it. Let's do it. All right. let's make it happen <laughs> He really is his coach now. Oh, it's just so heartwarming. <laughs> okay, my prediction is we're gonna get our ass absolutely whooped at some point, and then we're gonna have a little comeback and we're gonna win. Dude, they're fucking lads. Oh my god. I love watching sports sometimes just so I can admire people <laughs> and their bodies, you know? I need to talk about this. Wait, is this gonna make me sound like a creep? I don't know. Let's find out. Whenever I go rock climbing, I'm in between like you know, I just finished a route or a problem and I'm just like, I'm off the wall. What else are you supposed to do but admire all of the pretty people who are currently climbing their own routes and problems? Like, am I supposed to just sit there and like twiddle my thumbs and like look at the ground? No, I'm supposed to look at everyone's beautiful back muscles and everyone's beautiful lats and their shoulders and the way the muscle ripples on everyone a little bit differently, but everyone kind of has a very similar build at the same time too. Like, it's just like so much fun to like, admire people's bodies in like a respectful sort of way and th see that's one of my favorite things about bouldering i feel like it's just a part of the culture okay no because no because it is like if you no <laughs> because if you sit there and tell me that if you've gone bouldering and you don't look at other people bouldering when you're like not bouldering like you'd be lying you would be a fucking liar i know for a fact every single person who's gone climbing is watching other people climb when they're not climbing actively i feel like it's just a part of the sport you know anyway so that's a that's a huge appeal for me when i'm watching like any kind of sports whether it's like olympics or um like a sports movie i really love watching a little ufc fight here and there you know there you go. There you go. I think this is actually really clever like perspective because I feel like we're still seeing, you know, action, like the action of him punching the opponent without us actually seeing the impact. And I think that's just I think this was really a really purposeful and clever like perspective thing to protect, you know, the actors. And now that I've mentioned that, it really makes me think how impressed I am because it seems like these guys are doing a lot of their own like stunts and stuff. And I feel like with this sort of perspective or this sh sort of shot here really like maximizes the amount of screen time we get with 
like the actors and not like stunts people for example i actually don't know how much how many of these scenes or how much of this movie is with like actual professionals or stunt people versus the actors but i feel like this moment right here indicates to me that it's a lot of the actors with this clever placement here. Am I reading too much into it? I might be reading too much into it. I feel like this was clever and I want to appreciate it unless I'm just talking out of my ass and um, you'll have to let me know in the comments. <laughs> see, like we still get to see the action. It's somewhat hidden, but it doesn't feel like we're missing out on a lot, you know? Like I just, I think it's really well done, really well choreographed. Tough, tough round. That was a full round, right? I want you to throw your left under the radar. Seven, come up with a shovel hook. You're gonna see an opening, put it right on his chin, then I'll drop it. Your man did that to me. It worked. <laughs> well, that's all the convincing I need. You know what? It's giving all one take. How did they disguise that in editing? Impressive stuff. That could have been a cut that they disguised somehow. You know, the zoom in and then the zoom out. Maybe that was a disguised cut. Anytime the camera's super blurry. Is he gonna get up? Oh, he's up in time. Wait, he's not up in time? I don't understand this sport, but I'm very, very happy to admire everyone doing their thing. What we doing after this? Let's go for it. Let's go tear the city up. Okay. <laughs> He's napping. <laughs> He's exhausted. <laughs> this is so cute. They ate ice cream. Oh. <gasps> He's putting a blanket over them. He's so fatherly. I'm crying. Oh my god. I'm like tearing up a little bit. Oh my god. I'm getting the nose tingly. <laughs> I made something for you. Wait, did she make him a mixtape? Stop. That's so cute. I'm sorry, but the bandage on his eyebrow actually looks so badass. <laughs> he looks like he just has two scars on his eyebrow. And as someone who's a scar girly, I approve. Did she make the song just for him? Okay, maybe maybe we're getting the sex scene now. Like maybe, maybe I spoke too soon on how this film was handling intimacy. <laughs> oh, you know what? I can't say I entirely mind though. I mean, they're two very beautiful people. <laughs> Hello, turtle. What an interesting pan. Like, no, wait, what? That is such a that is such a fascinating way to end a little sex scene. No, this is <laughs> this is such an interesting creative choice to me. Slow pan up to the the frozen fucking turtle freeze frame on the frozen fucking turtle and then a fade out to black on the the freeze framed frozen fucking turtle <laughs> oh god that is so funny for no reason <laughs> oh. when all said and done that was still like a really tasteful sex scene okay don't get me wrong I have my favorite porn videos right i read smut like pretty regularly i mean that in of itself is somewhat like a problem but even though like we we got like a sex scene i still feel like it was like a very tasteful one and it was a way of showing intimacy i don't know this one didn't feel needed though i guess but like they both looked good like kissing each other's like i'm mixed i'm conflicted i'm good i'm a little sore but i'm all right <laughs> the pointed look no, I'm looking you up. You doing what? I'm looking you up. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm right here. The eyes they're giving each other. Oh my goodness. Did it leak who he is? You got something you want to tell me? It leaked who he is. I didn't lie. You might as well. I do care about you keeping it 100 with me though. 100% honesty from here on out. Oh, if he ever, if he ever lies to her again, it's, it's going to be a real problem. It's going to be a real problem. And Marianne, she tracked me down and took me in. Marianne's a real one. We stand. You do look like him, though. <laughs> uh, they're everything. An anonymous source confirmed to ESPN that Johnson is the youngest biological son of Apollo Creed. But Will Bond does knowledge of this affair damage Apollo Creed's legacy. Here's my opinion. Um, cheating's terrible. Really shitty thing. Um, but it shouldn't damage someone's legacy. Do you know what kind of things should damage people's legacies? Murder, maybe. Like rape, perhaps. Maybe theft. A depending on the kind of theft. Like, like maybe a, a white collar crime or two 
could do a little bit of damage. Maybe stalking. But like cheating, like, okay. <laughs> like, okay, so he made a really shitty decision. Um, why would that ruin someone's legacy? I mean, I've never been the most traditional type of person. But that just, that seems like a moronic kind of sentence, you know? <laughs> Out of all the things someone could do to ruin a legacy. That does not seem like one of them to me. <laughs> oh God, made me choke on my words. <gasps> okay, okay, cheating. Cheating can ruin a legacy. Just give me breath. Give me air. All right, yep. Cheating can ruin a legacy. I'm not even Catholic. I don't know why I did that. Oh, fear is a hell of a thing, my dear. I like flash before my eyes there for a second. Creed son. Creed son. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You are the clown who couldn't control himself at a way in and lost us millions in the process. Millions they gotta get back, and this would be the way to do it. Because that name is gonna bring in money. I don't wanna be remembered like this. I don't care how you're remembered. I care about your kids having a roof over their head when you're done. Wait, that's unexpectedly wholesome. He's like actually looking out for him. We love a coach that's looking out for their problematic, like, <laughs> trainee person. <laughs> Hello? I think you and the kid have got 30 minutes for a business meeting. If you can get over here, sure. 30 minute meeting couldn't be done like over the phone. It has to be done in person. You've been down in Mexico doing pro fights, eh? I've got you as 15 and 0 down there. Nobody needs to know these fights were in some hole in the wall. That's probably gonna come out to see the light. Someone will probably find out they were in a hole in Mexico, right? This man came here because he knows you're a short thing, right? It's a short victory. That is not true. Yeah, it is. We would need you to change your name to Creed. And what if I say no? Without the name, there's no fight. It's a non-starter. It's a good deal. It is a pretty good deal. He's doing her hair. That is peak love! No, this is the most intimate thing I've ever seen on, like, the screen. Oh. Um, plan has always just been to do what I love for as long as I can. But I think that's all we ever do, huh? You know? My heart is breaking. My heart is breaking. <laughs> I'm afraid of taking on the name and losing. Call me a fraud. Fake Creed. Wait, that's a valid fear. You love to fight, right? To do what you love. I know you don't want me to do this, right? But if we did do it, how we get it done? You gotta go to the body. Dig. It ain't easy for me to be in your corner, kid. I don't know if you're ready for it. I don't know if I'm ready for it. If it was anybody else in my corner, I wouldn't do it. But I got you. <gasps> so make the call. I'm fighting pretty Ricky Cutler! I like how he yells it and then goes back to a super like stoic face for a second. In that scene, I really like appreciate their communication there. I feel like that was very, very just mature. Um, I just, I expected more drama, I guess, between someone who didn't necessarily have the most stable home environment when they were a kid and then someone like Rocky, who's clearly like very established and um, as like a previous former fighter, but who's also like a little grumpy, but like that was fabulous communication there. I think it just really shows that they have a real like partnership between them now, like and a little bit of a bond and a, that there's a lot of respect that goes both ways there now. That wasn't necessarily present when the movie first started. I love that Donnie like came to him and is like, hey, what are your thoughts on this? Because like he has so much respect for Rocky and genuinely want to know his what he thought of the situation and Rocky gave him his honest thoughts about the situation um, and then they kind of like decided together it felt like um, what they would do from there because they're a team and I just I just feel all warm and fuzzy <laughs> I love a little bit of good communication you know it's just like heartwarming especially when there's like generational differences <laughs> He's just, he's getting old. Oh no! No, if, you better not kill Rocky in this. No, I'm so attached to him emotionally. You better, no, he better not be like hospitalized. And they've hospitalized him. Oh my God. All right, so this is a problem for multiple reasons. For the sake of the story, I'm concerned. Who's gonna train me now? I feel good, we're good, I can go now. Sleep. They care so much about each other. Like, Rocky cares so much about his goals, about Donnie's goals, and Donnie cares so much about Rocky's help. And <laughs> working on that shovel. Wow. That's his... I'm worried that he's gonna like keel over again. Well, he seems to be chipper and standing. Yeah, okay. 
Sorry. Thanks. Hmm. What kind of news was that? No, we're back in the hospital. No. What issue do we have? No. What fucking test results did you do you need to discuss with me? Well, we went through your test results. Oh my god. And oh my fucking god. Back no. Large cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma. That sounds like cancer. Well, it's a form of cancer. It's a form of cancer. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna fucking end it. The good news is we caught it early. However, we will have to remove the tumor in your lymph nodes and start chemotherapy immediately. Uh, my wife tried that. With treatment, you'll still have a very good chance of recovery. I'm okay with it, really. Well, listen, I appreciate if you wouldn't say nothing to nobody, okay? Well, there's HIPAA. She can't. He's not gonna tell Donnie, is he? I feel upset. Y'all. Is he gonna die, like, at the end of the movie because he's not doing treatment options? It's all about you. The lymphoma. Oh. Oh. Oh, he gonna find out. Oh, he is finding out. Damn. A little bit of drama. Okay. Okay. If you don't jump on this quick, you're gonna end up dying. He's like, yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> Everything I got is moved on, and I'm here. If I break, I'm hurt, whatever. I ain't gonna fix it. Why bother? But you got your whole future ahead of you. I ain't back there like all them guys on that wall. I am to you, just an old trainer. No, we're more than that. You guys are more we're not than a real that. Family. That was just in our heads, kid. Why did you say that? He said that because he's trying to make it hurt less for Donnie, I think. Also, I really hate the nickname Donnie. I don't know why. It's just, I don't like it. Adonis is such a cool name, and I just don't like the nickname Donnie. It just sounds so generic when you have such a cool name like Adonis. You okay? Yeah. How you doing? Good? Wait, you said you wouldn't lie to her again. That was a lie. That was a lie right there. Ooh. That might come back to bite you in the ass. Hey. Don't know nobody no more. Stop acting light skin. Stop acting light skin. Hey, good looking, baby Creed. <laughs> baby Creed, little Creed. Just don't call me that. Talk real tough, you feel me? Fat talk to your little pretty boy boyfriend, oh. man. Get a VIP pass next to your pop talking to me like that. <laughs> oh, there he is fighting. Who could have predicted this? He's upset about something. He's fighting about something. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, this is great. He's fighting with the other inmates. I was fighting the other inmates too. He's real upset. He's spaghetti. Not me though. I was. I would never cry. I would never be upset over lymphoma. They said your friends locked up. Friends, You're just a trainer to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> the silence. <laughs> well, you need to stay away from me. Mm. Come on, Get your you? hands off me, old man. You ain't talking like you my family. You got my real family killed. Oh, oh dear. It just gets worse and worse. And I know what it's like to feel abandoned and be mad and everything. You're a better person than that. Forgive him. This is nothing you can do about it. It's taking a toll on you. I did not expect like this level of like emotional heaviness this evening. No, because Rocky's spitting right there and you know? he's spitting mad facts. Okay. Who needs therapy when you have the Creed movie? It's exactly what my therapist would say to me. Every time I'd bring up like attachment issues, <laughs> abandonment trauma. But I never meant to let you down. Then what do you mean to do, D? Tell her. Just have a little. Email tell her right this. now. He's gonna tell her. Rocky's sick. Yeah. Well, maybe you can talk some sense into him. I don't think you want to hear anything I gotta say. Well, I don't know about all that. Look, we both got a lot going on right now, so I think you should focus on yours, and I'm gonna focus on mine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> he like, he self-sabotages a little. An emotion comes up in his life that he doesn't know how to deal with or process in like a healthy way, like grief or disappointment or anger. Like he can get a little reckless or violent. <laughs> but I'm optimistic that this might be like kind of a turning point for that. Like he might always struggle with managing some of his like emotional reactions, but I feel like this could still be a turning point and he'll be getting better and better with it from this point forward. I think what really helped is, you know, Rocky, one, apologizing to him for saying those hurtful things, even if at the time Donnie couldn't quite accept the apology or like understand it or process it. And I think it was really helpful that Rocky like stayed. Like Donnie told him to leave and get the fuck out of there, you know, um, but Rocky still stayed in that cell. In a way, like 
reassured him and basically told him that he understands what he's going through and that he's not alone and he's seen. I think that's a really impactful thing to hear when you're going through something you can't quite understand, like emotionally, is for someone to tell you like vocally, verbally that they see you and that they understand you and what you're going through, that's a pretty big deal. And I feel like that's not something Donnie's, Donnie's ever really heard before until that moment where Rocky could do that for him. I think that's like, I think this is like a turning point for him. Like maybe not an end of an era, but like, I think it's on an upward, it's upwards uh, incline. We're trending upwards, yes. Oh, it's locked, why is it locked? <laughs> Looks very fun. Very dangerous, but very fun. Do you guys ever get that like experience of wishing you knew what something felt like without actually ever having to do it? Cause like, <laughs> I'm such a scaredy cat, right? Like I'm a very safe person. I'm impulsive, but I'm not like reckless impulsive. Like I, I will spend like a little too much money at 3 a.m. Um, but I'm not gonna like go skydiving. <laughs> right but i kind of wish i knew what skydiving was like or popping a wheelie or whatever the fuck that's called like i wish i knew what those things felt like but without like the risk involved maybe that's why vr exists maybe i could do those things in vr at some point i ain't training if you don't get the treatment so if i fight you fight wait that sounds fair sounds like a fair deal i'm gonna fight together I'll walk to the shadow box. He moves so quickly. Oh my goodness. I look like a snail compared to him. <laughs> oh, that stupid little hat Rocky wears. <laughs> it's cute. He looks so good when he's sweaty. Like, more so than usual. Wait, I love the music in the background. It's giving me goosebumps. I love those, like, silhouette shots, too, with the super like bright background and then you can see him in front of it i love those yeah, he he's losing all his hair <laughs> wait he's got like a whole community training with him <laughs> wait i love it <laughs> yeah. and he looks a little silly but it's cute <laughs> I want to know what he's yelling right there. Liverpool, England. Ooh, a little press conference. Ooh! Conlon, can we expect any more fireworks at the weigh-in? I've been doing some anger management classes and, you know, trying to control that temper of mine. I'm just going to make sure he forgets it all by Saturday night. That's a really funny response for no reason. <laughs> People like Silver Spoon over here. You are false teeth. Uh, I'll show you right now. My yeah, pops ain't here. Right he's lost his eyebrows, too. Is he going to be his girl? Oh, I mean, this is okay, too. I'd like you to do me a favor when all this is over. I'm gonna lock it in, okay? I'm worried. What is he gonna ask of us? Keep looking at the door. No, no. Did he tell Bianca to show up? I think he did. I think he asked her to come. How you doing, Bianca? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, listen, you guys we, just uh, keep... We are. Like them. Yeah. The likes, yeah. It's important. Gotcha. The leg thing. Yeah, it's a lot of hip flexors, you know? It's a lot of leg and hips, you know? Can we have enough surprises for one weekend? Wait, is this from Marianne? Man? I have chills. His mom. Wait, were those his, his dads or something? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that those are dads or something, I don't know. I was just touched that his mom like basically gave him her approval, you know? Right, and knowing that you did your best and you're doing it for yourself, not for me, not your father's memory, but for you. I love Rocky's approach to coaching. It's it feels so gentle and so encouraging. Mm, love it. I guess different coaches for different people, but like I've seen some mismatching in coaching style versus what like a trainee or an athlete needs. 
and like speaking from personal experience like i tend to do really really well with like more gentle encouraging coaching styles than like micromanaging coaching styles i guess um i remember how well like in high school i'd run with um, a coach who would like pat me on the back and say just go out there and have fun. I've had a coach in the past who would like talk to me about my splits and like what pace I'd need and like, you know, the specific stuff that is like really beneficial for some people. But for some reason, whenever I'd hear that before like a meet or a race or anything, like it would psych me out more. Like it would, um, for, and for the type of races I was running, it wasn't imperative that I focused on that, I think, especially as like a somewhat newer like athlete to the sport when I was um, when I was running in high school like I started really really late to hear all of that I guess not jargon or lingo but to hear all of those expectations right before a race like it, I think it actually just had n a negative impact on me as an athlete but at one point I switched schools and I was in my senior year at this point and I had a coach that would just instead of telling me like expectations and telling me what to do and what I should be focusing on before a race and what I should be doing like mid race and after race. He would just tell me to go out there and have fun. And I just performed so much better when I had like less pressure. Now, if I was like a serious athlete, uh, maybe that coaching style was almost too lenient or laid back. But at the time, that's really what I needed in order to be able to perform at my best. And I think I just matched with a coach that understood that. So I really appreciate it when athletes and coaches have that sort of understanding between one another of what you know the athlete's needs are. And this is also a really beautiful situation in which the athlete like really cares and understand I think and and understands the coach's needs like health wise. I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate that because I know like a lot of you um, have probably like played sports or done sports at some point and you might have had like a coach that you just didn't mesh well with It's just kind of crazy. I think the difference that one person can have um, In your performance whether it's in a sport or whether it's in a job or your personal life like romantically platonically familially like it's just it's really incredible the impact that one person can have um, if you guys have that rapport and you have any just you just click. All right, enough of my jibber jabbering. This is a way bigger venue than the one we saw at the beginning of the film, right? I would feel so intimidated. This is definitely not the job for me because I would feel I would get a I would get a panic attack if I had to walk out into this crowd with everyone staring at me, expecting things of me. Oh, oh, I would not perform well under that sort of pressure. No, I would not. Oh, yeah, my nerves. <laughs> I could not handle being the center of attention in that way. All right, so so far it's still that one take with the camera work that we got in that fight against that one coach's son. I wonder if they're gonna continue with the one take thing for the entire entirety of the fight, like the last one. I'm gonna try my very best to focus on the fight and not the editing of the fight, <laughs> like I did for the last one too. <laughs> Well, I think the crowd has a favorite. Tell them all waste my time. No, no, no. Tell them all waste my time. Tell them all. All right, that's a pretty good entrance so far. Cause I don't need that job. All right, that's pretty iconic. <laughs> Question is, can he fight? I'm actually getting so nervous. Wait, OMG, I have I have such an important question. Um, how did they film this? Like, did they just ask a bunch of fucking people like, hey, can you come to a stadium and fill it up for this fake fight scene that we're doing for a movie? Yeah, like, actually, I would totally do that, too. I would totally say yes to that offer. That would be so much fucking fun, actually, <laughs> to be an extra here. Actually, it depends how long they might have to be sitting down for, like, days on end to capture uh, this entire scene, perhaps. And maybe I wouldn't want to be an extra, but it sounds really fun at first. Just like the more I think about it, the less fun it sounds. Some of those people got to be CG'd in, but some of them look really real. Oh, she's watching. Wait, here's my prediction. Donnie's going to get like knocked to the ground and he's going to get up within the 10 seconds. That's my prediction. He is going to get like knocked the fuck like down though at first. Nice shorts, boy. Too bad your daddy ain't need to fight in them. Ooh. You're going to close his big mouth. Yeah, yeah. Round one begins. Wait, there's 12 rounds? Wait, are you fucking for real? 
This is a 12 round event. I could never. I guess that's why they do all that cardio, right? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he just came running at us. There's something racially implicating when a white man says to a person of color, boy, like something smells a bit off. <laughs> just say it. If you keep making mistakes like that, we're going to pick you up with a vacuum cleaner, okay? <laughs> Not the vacuum cleaner. Baby, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? And now after a discussion with Rocky Balboa, Yeah, they're not doing one takes anymore, are they? They're filming it a little more like a regular fight. Oh, bold. Bold. There's a perfect I love that she's Yes. Rapidly becoming a phone booth fighting punches right hand. How did they film this and make it look so painful for them? It looks real. Like, how are they not actually hitting each other? Wait, shout out to the makeup department for making these little nicks look so realistic, you know? Big combination. Ooh. You gotta get closer, right? Don't we have to be aggressive with this person? Because they've got length we don't? Oh. Oh. Cinematic, isn't it? Wow, they just love to use slow mo, don't they? Ooh. Ooh. Just like the mirror. He's gonna fall down, but he's gonna get back up. He's gonna fall down, but he's gonna get back up. Okay, just just wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, he is out of it, isn't he? Come on, come on, get up, get up, get up. Come on, baby. Come on. Champion. He has his daddy's heart. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Constant's like, what the fuck, man? Come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on, come on. No! Come on! How many fingers? How many of them is? Four. And again. Two. Oh, that's so risky, but so smart. I'm stopping this one now. Don't, okay? Let me finish. I gotta prove it. Prove what? I'm not a mistake. You're not a mistake. You taught me how to fight again, and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna fight this thing. But if I fight, I want you to fight too. And I love you, kid. Come on. Uh, oh, oh he looks fucked up. Creep getting hit with some Marianne. Throwing body shots like he's Rocky Balboa. Like he's Rocky Balboa. Stay down, get up, stay down, get up. That's okay. We put up a great fight. You the future of this division. You have our name of pride. Oh, my little heart. Home. I love you. You know, I know she's mad at me for doing this. <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack, but I'm proud of it. I got my family right here. My family? He called them fam. But if he was here tonight, what would you want to say to him? I just told him that I love him. I know he ain't leaving me on purpose. Proud to be a creep. Ricky Conlon wins the fight. Adonis Creed wins the night. This is it? Yeah. Are they at the grave? Come on, young man. Just let me catch my breath. Come on, no breaks. We rest at the top. And the man's got cancer. Let him take a minute to rest. God, that hat is so stupid. He's adorable. Not bad at all. Oh, I loved it.
All right, you guys, that is our reaction to Cree. I'm actually so pleasantly surprised by how thoughtful and heartwarming the movie ended up being. I did not expect it to be this like well-made, I guess, if that makes sense. I mean, there was cheesiness in this film, but I just think it was really well executed. It just felt really heart Felt. And I loved the music. The theme really grew on me by the end of the film. I guess the Creed theme. Really loved that with the choir in the background. And I loved like the rest of the soundtrack with different artists. I also didn't expect the movie to be quite as long as it was, but I think it being like a slightly over two hour long movie actually really allowed it to be developed more. Like it didn't feel rushed like some sports movies I guess can be. There was character development and there was time for that to progress. I really feel like the longer movie gave the characters in the story like space to breathe and overall just allowed for like pretty good pacing. I really didn't expect to get like as emotionally invested in this as I ended up getting and I feel like really attached to the characters. I was so worried about Rocky at one point and you know what I think that's actually a testament to how well done this movie is. Like I have no experience like with the Rocky movies at all. I did not know who he was really. I feel like they gave me enough information for me to be able to understand the basics of what I needed to understand to be able to enjoy this movie without it being like overkill. They balanced it pretty well. They balanced this movie out in a way that like people who have probably seen like the Rocky movies could enjoy it and people like me who haven't seen the movies could enjoy it also. That's that's a really tricky balance to find and I feel like this movie did it really really well but you guys will have to tell me your thoughts. I would love to watch the second one and the third one if you guys are interested and let me know if you have any other movie, um, movie recommendations. I have a few things on my list. I always like hearing your guys' feedback. I think that's everything for today. I had a great time. I hope you had fun as well. And until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.